Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. A year later and the pandemic is still wreaking havoc on the travel industry. Customers are left going in circles trying to get refunds for canceled flights. And it's even trickier if you used reward points for the purchase. Morning Insider Tim McNicholas tells us about a Barrington Hills family on a refund runaround. We swim in the city, we would bike to the games. If you can't tell by their basement, the Hoosbees are a Cubs family. From the first date at Wrigley Field to their engagement. It was the Cubs versus the Giants. The Cubs have always been a family affair. The family booked a trip in early March to see the Cubs play the Cardinals in a historic series in London. They bought the plane tickets using about $12,700 worth of credit card reward points. Then COVID-19 threw a curveball and halted international travel, so they tried to get a refund. And Capital One would tell us to call American Airlines. We'd call American Airlines and American Airlines would tell us to call Capital One. Capital One offered a flight credit that must be used this year. That's a one-time voucher. So if the family books a cheaper trip than that $12,700 trip overseas, the leftover credit will go down the drain. So is this family unique in this problem? They're not. Peter Greenberg is the travel editor for CBS News. There are a lot of people out there who use their points to redeem for tickets. Or, ex or experiences and got shut out because of the pandemic and they're still fighting to get that redeposited to their account. Capital One told us they can't just refund the points because the Hoosbees canceled the flight before the airline did. But the Hoosbees say that's not how they remember it. They showed us an April 15th email from Capital One Travel saying your upcoming flight itinerary has been changed or canceled due to the COVID-19 travel restrictions. And to redeem your credit, you must call into the travel center to rebook. We sent that to Capital One and asked why a passenger who canceled would get that notice, and we're waiting to hear back. Somebody should be giving us our money back. Um, the flight, we didn't cancel the flight. Whoever canceled first, it's been a swing and a miss for the Hoosbees. They say when the series was canceled, the Cubs at least refunded them for the tickets. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. The U.S. Department of Transportation issued a notice last year reminding airlines that if they canceled the flight, the customer is entitled to a refund. We also reached out to American. It tells us Capital One is responsible for the refund as the purchase was originally made through them. For more stories like this, download our CBS Chicago app and look for the section called Morning Insiders.